Good morning. Today is Saturday, January 18th, 2020. Is it? Yes. Oh, wow. It is. He's checking me. <laughs> I've lost 2020 so far. Mm -hmm. I wasn't even home in 2020. No. I was in the hospital for a while. Yeah, but he's home now. I am home now. I'm slowly regaining some energy. I've been pretty wiped out. Uh, each day I've had to nap a few times. I do something for 15, 20 minutes and then I got to sit down and I'm wiped out for like the next half hour. I guess that's kind of normal, but the last two days I've been able to stay up all day We're like a big boy. Um, <laughs> yeah, so things are getting better. Uh, just a slow process. It is, it is. And I just got like zero energy. <laughs> On December 1st, 2018, gosh, that sounds funny to say. Yeah. <laughs> Bill weighed in at 382.6, and this morning he weighed in at? I have no idea. 328.8. That he was is, 10 minutes ago. I don't even know. He's still out of the 30s, which is fantastic. Okay. Yeah, I went up a little bit. Man, when I was in the hospital, they were pumping me with saline, and I, the third day I came home, but I had to go right back because I jumped out of temperature and stuff. Uh, I was up like eight pounds, but I wasn't too worried because I knew, you know, they've been pumping me with saline all day. Mm -hmm. Then when I got home again, gave it a few days, body started regulating. It's kind of doing its own thing at this point. Um, yeah, and then I was down like 11, which was really odd. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with my body, but I'm just holding on for the ride. <laughs> <laughs> so, so anyway, I was at three what? 328.8. 328.8. So I was up uh, a little bit from last week, a little over two pounds from yeah. last week, but I also lost 11 something <laughs> from the previous. So I think my body's just finding its spot again. Let's just hope that it finds its spot and it stays under 330. Yeah, and I did not follow him this week. No. I'm sad. <laughs> oh, I should mention too, we have a brand new scale. Uh, we mentioned it last week and we got it in the mail during the week here. And we've been using it daily. It's really neat. I really like it. it. It works right off of an app on the phone. It's got iOS and Android app uh, that you could use. And you basically put in your profile, you put in your age, your weight, your height, all that stuff. And, and when you step on this thing, it does all the calculations for you from BMI to body fats to skeletal weights to protein mass to your basal metabolic rate. I mean, <laughs> it tells you probably more than you want to know about yourself besides the weight. And then it keeps everything in a nice track form. And as we continue, you can hit day, month, week, year, and see the charts of these things as like your weight going up and down, your BMI going up and down, things like that. So it's really interesting. So worth the money. Um, we jumped on both of them. And for me, it was about a 0.6 pound difference. Um, in favor of the old scale, but that's okay. We'll take this new scale, which is not 30 years old, and we'll just move forward with it from today's weight. You know what I mean? Yeah. It is what it is, and I'll take that and just work with it. So and I didn't know it did any of that stuff until... Until I showed her. Yeah. I weighed myself, I think, only twice at this point. So, so you don't have a lot of data to work with, but right. as you continue, it'll start giving you even more. Absolutely. So I'm even Steven. Um, I'm still 135.4. Oh, so even for you with the going from the one scale to the other, you're at 135.4? I am, but That's you weird. have to remember it was Shark Week. Because so. I actually did this, the weights right next to each other, and I was like 0.6 higher on the new scale, which didn't freak me out because it's every scale is going to be different. Oh, I didn't weigh you know? myself on the old scale. Oh, you didn't jump on? So maybe you went up a little or something? I don't, I don't know. know. Mine went up. 0.6 on the new scale, but it didn't freak me out. Oh, I didn't think to weigh myself it on is the old scale this morning. I'm just going to use the new scale from now on, and that'll just be the weight. Yeah. But yeah. I really like having that newer scale. It's so nice, and all the features are cool. And it's smaller. It is smaller, which makes a difference. Our bathroom is not very big. So where the scale goes, I always <laughs> kick it with my toe. So, yeah, I'm not going to kick this one as easily. <laughs> it's not as thick, and it's not as big square. And it's prettier. It's pretty. Yeah. It's 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 sleek black and silver instead of. I just like all the beige. apps because I'm a gadget guy, and it tells you everything and it records everything. I don't have to sit there and try and catch the screen before it turns off and then right. worry about the Julia weigh something that was thirteen point two pounds, which she denied by the way. 
She didn't do it, she said. <laughs> and I think I saw something about it tells you how old it thinks your body is. Yeah, you're, you're, <laughs> you're like your real body age. Mine, I think, said 57 instead of 52. Mm -hmm. Mine said 50, which is not so bad. I'll be 49 this year, so. Yeah, you're probably way closer. Everything yeah. on mine says too high. <laughs> so we're working on it. <laughs> it said my body fat was too high. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. Well, hey, here in Michigan, we have gotten winter advisories, and um, we got up early, about 7, uh, a little before 7, and we're doing this real quick, and we got to get Stacy going to work. She works both jobs today, starting at 8.30, 8.45? 8.45. And then you work till what, 11? Casco, I work till 11. It's inventory day, so oh, I will so be counting clothing all She'll have a small break between the two, but I literally never see her anymore, so... Um, but wait, but there's wait, more. There's more. I'm scheduled to have three days off, Monday, scheduled. Tuesday, Wednesday, from both jobs. It's I better won't my honey. Hold my breath. We'll see. Yeah, we're supposed to go do some stuff. We'll see. We'll see if that happens. I'm if it doesn't happen, it's not. not my fault this time because I actually have the days off. Okay. Cool. Might be weather. Might yeah. be the kid. Might be a lot of factors. <laughs> it's called Murphy's Law. If it could happen, it will. Um, the other thing during the week last week here, uh, Stacy did try some uh, keto bread. It, it was pretty good. It tasted good. It just didn't have the taste texture that I was thinking it would from the way it looked. Yeah. Now, now to be fair, I grabbed it right when it came out and it was still, um, I don't want to say wet or moist, so but warm. it was still warm and it probably needed to firm up. I, I haven't touched it back since you made it there. And I'll be honest with you, I made it uh, before work, and it came out of the oven two minutes before I was ready to leave. Yeah, to so leave. So I forgot we had it. So I took care of it and put it in a container, put it in the fridge. I should go up there and just try a little corner of a piece now. Yeah. Now that it's firmed up, see if it's any good. I'm sure that won't keep as long because it's all natural ingredients, yeah. maybe three days or so. Yeah. But uh, if that's something that... Tastes good, and you you haven't even tried it yet. Right? I haven't. I forgot so, we had it. Yeah, so if we go up there and we try it, maybe you do a quick video on it. It was yeah. pretty easy. Very easy to make. I made it before work, if that tells you anything. Yeah, so so, so yeah, that would be kind of cool to share that video. Yeah. Yeah. Other than that, uh, you got your weight in, you got my weight in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, home from the hospital. I have... The port is out of my arm. Yay! No more No more antibiotics at home for me to do... The drip for myself which is really nice uh hopefully all this junk is out of me we keep calling the the hospital infectious diseases and leaving our name and number for a follow-up because they want to do blood work and right. confirm all the stuff's out of me nobody's answering us back very frustrating six days in a row so i'm yep. going to call his primary and say what am i supposed, am to, I do? supposed to do because they haven't called me back they keep saying oh oh i'm so sorry we'll give you a call right back and nobody calls us back frustrating on a side note, I have to say it's really super cute, and he'll have to take a picture of it. So as we're doing this video, I'm looking at a little Marshall. Oh, my phone case. <laughs> His phone yeah. case has got a Marshall amp phone case. Yeah, we're using the iPhone to uh, do this video, and I bought just, I think it was off like AliExpress. Some of it was like two bucks, and it's it's the word Marshall for the Marshall application. It's so and, cute. Uh, it's on the phone that we're looking at. And our refrigerator that is... Our Marshall stack. Oh, yeah, my white Marshall stack <laughs> in the garage. Yeah. Yeah, I was playing around. We have a white fridge in the garage, and I just made some black Marshall logos and stuck it on like it was a big, <laughs> big, tall amp. It's the closest I'm getting to a full Marshall stack ever. <laughs> I love it, but this, the phone is, it's it is so cute. cute. I'm looking at it and like, eh, it's pretty cute. A little it, Marshall logo on it's it. It's going to make you smile. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does. It's cute. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. So thanks and, for watching. Yeah. yeah. And check back in with us, and uh, we will have more weights and info. Goes up, goes down, goes all around, but we will give you the honest numbers every Saturday. Absolutely. It's just the way it works. Good, <laughs> bad, or otherwise, right? When we started this, we had no idea what we were doing and what was going to happen from it, and we're just continuing that promise. No idea sure. how easy it was going to be. It's called and... Real Life Keto. Yes. I'm still struggling with sugars, to be honest with you. Um, I'm taking my morning sugars, and they're kind of a little bit all over. I think it maybe takes a while for my body to get back to normal after all this. 
uh, I really got wiped out. And uh, if I can't get these sugars in line, I'm going to have to talk to the doctor in February when I go. Yeah. Gosh, I hate to go back up on more meds or anything, but if I can't get them in line, I can't be in ketosis. Right. When the body's making sugars, you know. But it won't be any more insulin. It would probably just no, no, be no. like yeah. a metformin or something. Yeah. So that's not horrible, but. Yeah, so I'm, so I'm really hopeful that I can get these sugars under control. Every time I check with the keto meter or the, the breath meter or the blood meter, I'm at the very, very lowest or entry level of ketosis, which is frustrating because I'm eating so basic with, with yeah. keto foods, eggs and bacon and coffee. And heck, Stacy bought me some steaks. They had buy one, get one. I haven't had a steak, I don't know, a year maybe or something. But yeah, those are awesome. So. I'm not a big meat eater, so I guess I don't ever really think to buy steaks, but I got him a couple and... Uh... Yeah, and I weighed it out and portioned it out. Four and a half ounces is what I had, and then I had some salad with that. And mm -hmm. the next time when I had the other half, I had some broccoli with it. And yeah, you know, I'm, I'm doing the best I can here, but darn sugars are still a little high. I'm just trying to be patient. Go get them. And positive. Get Stay positive. Sugar. Get it. Get it. Get that sugar. <laughs> yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. And uh, check back in with us next week, next week, and we will do our best to try and get some other stuff out as well this week if we are so lucky to be able to. If we can get Stacy to grace us with her presence. Aww. Because wants to see me. <laughs> Aww, I want to see you. I want to see you. I want to see you. Okay. Lots of people want to see you, right? So should I say goodbye like for the fourth time now? Yeah. Okay. So thanks, guys. <laughs> and we will catch you later. Bye. Bye.